And other decently good news is our infection rate, which was up at 1.26 last week, is now estimated to be at 1.01. It's still more than one person that each person who is positive is infecting, but just over one. And if we continue the work of this past week, we could see that go down even further, perhaps the strongest and most important leading indicator of where we're at. We see choke points nationally in the supply chain, everything from reagents to some of the swabs, and the surge in states like Texas, Georgia, and Florida have caused labs to be past their capacity across the country. Though I want to be clear, the ones that we have here and the curative tests that we have are able to respond quickly, we're able to ramp them up, and we're going to continue doing that. But without a major boost in testing, which we'll be fighting for in the next coronavirus relief bill, these numbers nationally are not sustainable. There's no way we can functionally reopen the economy or safely reopen our schools. And to be clear, schools will only open when they are safe. And this is a key part of it. Congress and the president need to set aside any of their differences and to pass another relief bill now. Expanded testing and direct assistance for cities like ours that are stepping up and paying out of our pocket for these tests. Funding more local community health workers, real small business assistance, expanded benefits, including unemployment, another cash payment for folks who are struggling, and aid for state and local government. It is a clear, crystal clear list that isn't ha about red or blue, Democrat or Republican. It is about red, white, and blue, and these United States of America. If we are to be one nation, we need to step up and continue to prove it.